everyday life it is customary to measure temperature in degrees Celsius. And in the SI system, in Kelvin. Hey you. Move over. Professor and I have an anniversary today. <gasps> this is not what it looks like. Hiccupy. Leave us alone. Oh, how shy you are. Do not hide your feelings. I know that you are happy with such an event. If you're talking about the day we met, I'm sure it's not today. It's not even close. Moreover, it's definitely not a holiday for me. I agree. It's not a holiday. It's a real miracle. <laughs> Celsius and Kelvin scales differ by their starting point, but do not differ by the size of unit of measurement. On the Kelvin scale, temperature is measured starting from the absolute zero. What do you think absolute zero is? It is negative 273 and 1500 degrees Celsius. Now let's look at the Celsius scale. Zero is the freezing point of water. And 100 degrees is the boiling point of water. To convert Kelvin to Celsius and vice versa, you need to remember this formula. And knowing math rules, we can easily get the second formula. Look. Big letter T is Kelvin temperature. Small t is temperature in degrees Celsius. And T sub zero is a constant. It equals 273 and 15 hundredths. Or you can round up and use simply 273. That's it. We are ready to convert. Put the corresponding values into the formulas and the answer is ready. Let's try with examples. Firstly, let's convert to SI system, that is, to Kelvin. So, we use the first formula. Convert 25 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Big T equals. Instead of small t we write 25. And instead of T sub 0, we write 273 and 15 hundredths. Add we get 298 and 15 hundredths Kelvin. Negative 13 degrees Celsius convert to Kelvin. Big T equals negative 13, plus 273 and 15 hundredths. We calculate not forgetting that 13 is negative. And we get 260 and 15 hundredths Kelvin. You can round T sub 0 and use 273 in the formula. Negative 20 degrees Celsius will convert to Kelvin. Negative 20 plus 273 equals 253 Kelvin. Now, on the contrary, we will convert Kelvin to degrees Celsius. We take the second formula and put the corresponding values. T small is equal to 300 minus 273 and 15 hundredths. It equals to 26 and 85 hundredths degrees Celsius. Approximately it's 27 degrees. You can use 273 at once. Look. Convert 250 Kelvin to degrees Celsius. T small equals 250 minus 273. It is negative 23 degrees Celsius. Now try to convert temperature units by yourself. The answers to these tasks, as usual, can be found by the link in the description. Good luck! See you in the next episode.